Alrighty, it's uh, Friday, March 30th, 2012, and for better or for worse, it's time for Comments X. Well, um, Comments X, as it normally happens, never really occurs at any particular, particular point in time, and shifts around the clock. And every so around, every so often, there is a gap in between. Well, uh, apparently, um, VEDA is coming up. Uh, I found out that VEDA stands for uh, Video uh, Vlogging Every Day in April. And uh, since I vlog every day, anyways, <laughs> I do VEDA. I do VEDA, you know, vlogging every day, anyways. Uh, all year round, that's because this vlog is daily. Uh, uh, in terms of the uh, web show, I'll be doing the vlog in 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 April as well. So I'll be doing Veda, uh, but I won't be doing Death Veda. Uh, I just remembered. Uh, it sort of popped into my mind that. Uh, yesterday's uh, comment sex I couldn't remember who uh, had starred in uh, Sydney White uh, I, had, and I, I remember I, I knew the name and said the name the day I think the, the day before that on um, on Wednesday's uh, comment sex but I, got, I forgot it Thursday but now I remember it's, it's Amanda Bynes Amanda Bynes is in uh, uh, in uh, in uh, here we go again. Uh, in uh, Sydney White, it, it was an interesting movie. Interesting to sort of see how uh, Revenge of the Nerds was uh, sort of revamped and redid for uh, this generation. Although, and Amanda Bynes is sort of uh, the generation that just passed. She sort of came up with uh, Lizzie McGuire, so. Uh, I don't know if we can actually say that uh, for this generation. You, we'll have to kind of wait and see for what, 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 what pops up uh, uh, for this generation. We'll have to sort of see what uh, uh, what's her name, uh, Selena Gomez, does if she does anything uh, like uh, Revenge of the Nerds. Although I don't really think so. I don't, I, I don't, every once in a while you have these nerd movies pop up, but more often than not, uh, uh, I don't think we'll be seeing another Revenge of the Nerds movie uh for another couple of years, at least a, maybe even another decade, because it, it had been a couple decades since the last Revenge of the Nerds movie, anyway. So, you know, from the basically the, the 80s was the last Revenge of the Nerds movie. There was a whole series of them, uh, and so now uh, we have and we had I think in in 2000 we had one Revenge of the Nerd movie uh, for Sidney White, and nothing since then. So. You got basically a uh, a 28 year yeah just about a, under a 28 year gap so a 20 year gap between the two between the two. Um, I was able to finish the, the, uh, this has been a, a month now for the news and ironically but I, I kind of missed it uh, we're beyond our hundred hundredth episode of uh, Big Bang Theory RL now for Comments X um, so. The show, that show is doing well. Uh, um, the news is doing well. This weekend, uh, I'm going to try to make another push forward and uh, do more segments for um, the Bass Institute's uh, new documentary, uh, Adventures in the Library. I've got everything sort of set up here to go. I've got my books, yay, that I'll be starting to read from and do, uh, you know, really sort of do some of the library research and see how to sort of move forward with things in terms of uh, finding these little nooks and crannies inside the library and, uh, that are these these hidden gems uh, and I'll show you we're gonna although we're gonna start off mundane uh, with uh, reading the dictionary so I know diction reading the dictionary and reading the encyclopedia isn't as exciting as one would imagine it is you know, uh, but it does actually have a, a bizarre connection, and so I, I, what I'll do is I'll go back, redo um, the reading, 
But rather than sort of do the reading, it's going to connect to other things. I'll show you how we're going to connect one book to another book. We're going to connect the dictionary to the encyclopedia here. Right here, we're going to connect this encyclopedia to the dictionary. And then from there, we'll go further on into the internet and into a variety of uh, uh, different options and uh, uh, other books. And then what we can do is we can actually bring uh, a good chunk of it, actually, we can bring a chunk of this sort of into the fiction library, show you how it actually connects to a fictional story that's inside the library or, or other fictional stories that uh, you can take a look at. And this will give you an idea of how you connect something that is non-fiction to fiction. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, I spend a large chunk of my day reading and studying. This is what I do for most of my days. I'm here either reading, studying, uh, writing. Uh, it takes me uh, four or five hours to parse through uh, a large chunk of the sources that I have for the news. Uh, I'll be adding uh, the economics channel for this week. I'll be doing the first uh, little bit for the economics channel. It'll be not, nothing too large. Uh, probably just like a 10 minute introduction to uh, the economy. Uh, because a lot of people really don't understand the economy or what's going on. So I'll take this whole uh, the, Iran, the Iranian oil sanctions uh, and show you how it connects to the oil bargos in the 1970s uh, with uh, Jimmy Carter and then we can sort of move on from there uh, in deeper into uh, economics and the economy. And the perspective we're taking is not the academic uh, uh, economics but we're going into the uh, banking and uh, financial economics. There's two basically standards for economics. There's an academic one that stays primarily within the university and is not really applied to overall real world economics. And then there is the banking economics. This is the this is the economics and the research done uh, that banks rely on, rely on in order to determine where they're going to move next in terms of their investments and how they're going to shift and adjust. Uh, to the realities of what's actually going on inside the economy and currently. So, this I guess it, <laughs> in the beginning I said that this is you're going to be following and watching uh, a nerd, a geek, uh, <laughs> as he goes through his research. Well, this is what this is. And this is why uh, I rarely get under ten minutes, or really, you know, most of my comment sacks are not short because it, it they're gonna the comment sacks is gonna have a lot of behind the scenes, a lot of the development work that for projects that will be coming out and be coming up uh, as uh, it sort of these products develop into their own sort of legs. So a lot of the stuff before you see it actually come out on the air will be developed here and then pushed forward out. And this is no exception for uh, a new product that I'm working on that's just now come on the bench. Uh, and this is a student unemployment program. Uh, uh, we're looking around and seeing how many students are unemployed and how many people are requesting help, uh, students are requesting help to find employment. So my decision was uh, to set up a student uh, uh, unemployment program and tackle the issues uh, of uh, student unemployment. You know, that's what it's called, student unemployment program. Uh, What they should look at, for any of you, and this is any of you who are looking at the uh, the, the the list that I have, the uh, Yahoo, uh, the Facebook page, that uh, before stuff comes out onto the page as an official part of the program, it will be mentioned and discussed here first uh, as the development goes on. And this is sort of the economics channel is the next step in student uh, uh, employment. Uh, in order to understand wh how you need to become employed, you need to understand the economy in which you're going to be employed in. Uh, as economic conditions changes, 
so do the re employment requirements and standards and what you should expect and not expect in terms of uh, finding employment. Then there's also the, uh, the, uh, uh, the reality of funding and paying for everything that you want to do. Uh, this also uh, sort of impacts or has an impact on the economy and, and the economy itself has an impact on these, these, these factors as well. So there's the sort of a back and forth, a bi-directional um, connection between the two and uh, it does take time to work through everything so uh, I recommend, strongly recommend uh, uh, and I will be posting comments X to the new student, the student employment program uh, Facebook page and you can sort of follow along here. Uh, some comments actually are not going to be anything, but uh, most comments actually, you, you'll, you'll sort of get to seeing how things work. I am uh, employed by myself. Uh, I, I have been here now for 20 plus years. And so if I can do this, I think there's sort of a path that you can find. It's not necessarily an easy path, but there is a path that you can follow and, and take and make sure that you're uh, the work that you're doing is uh, satisfactory or sufficient to maintain employment or a good enough lifestyle. Uh, anyways, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to do it short for today because uh, Saturday is in a few hours and so this <laughs> is going to be a rather short common act. Uh, I will be uh, seeing you uh, over the weekend. I'll be producing the uh, my gift for the right and proper ladies uh, I did last week's but I really didn't advertise it too, advertise it too much because I really screwed it up so anyways uh, I will see you on YouTube anyone all the way, my YouTube and uh, all the youtubers who are coming by anyone that left comments for comments uh, for on their channels or on their videos uh, I will be coming by in a few minutes to say hello and talk to everybody uh, so see you